Meanwhile, there's been another turbulent day for the Congress as infighting continues. Uh, this time, over veteran leader Gulam Nabi Azad being conferred the Padma Bhushan Award. While the party is expected to celebrate, natural, there was a full-blown Twitter war. Here is all that transpired. Politics over Padma. And this year, this man who featured on the list of Padma Bhushan awardees is at the center of it. Gulam Nabi Azad, a man Prime Minister Modi called a true friend during an emotional farewell speech in the Rajya Sabha in February 2021. We are Lekin. उसे कैसे पहचाना वैसी चिंता The award announcement was met with instant controversy with several rumors clarifications and jibes flying thick and fast. The biggest speculation of them is Congress staring at yet another exit. Soon after veteran Congress leader Gulam Nabi Azad, who was part of the rebel G23 leaders group, was conferred the Padma Bhushan, the third highest civilian award on the eve of the Republic Day, rumours began doing the rounds that the senior leader had removed traces of his affiliation with the Congress from his Twitter bio. Dubbing the reports mischievous, Gulam Nabi Azad clarified that he has not made any changes to his Twitter profile and that it was nothing but mischievous propaganda to create confusion. What fueled speculation further was, not all in his party seemed happy with his award honour. Colleague Jairam Ramesh posted a cryptic tweet that seemed to take a jibe at Gulam Nabi Azad. Jairam Ramesh posted a tweet supporting not Azad but another Padma awardee, Buddhadev Bhattacharji, and lauded his decision to reject the award. He tweeted Bhattacharji's move was the right thing to do as the former Bengal CM chose to be Azad and not Gulam. A direct dig at his colleague who didn't seem to have any qualms accepting the honour given by the Modi government. While most in Congress chose to stay silent, only a few like Shashi Tharoor congratulated Azad. The wishes from other parties poured in. I think it's a very good gesture. He has served nation very well up to this time and I'm sure he'll continue to serve the nation in the best interests of the nation. We are very happy that he has been bestowed with this award and I wish him all the best for future also. Kapil Sibbal, another member of the G23, went a step further and slammed Congress for sidelining Azad. The BJP jumped in and accused the Gandhi Parivar of sidelining their party stalwarts. The insecurities of the Gandhi family has a habit and a standard operating procedure of undermining, insulting and sidelining all those stalwart leaders who have some presence in the state. Whether it is Gulam Nabi Azad, whether it was Himanta Biswa Sarma or many other leaders who were forced to leave the Congress party because of the humiliation done to them. There have been several instances that have time and again indicated Azad's disappointment in the Congress and the urgent need for change in the party. Azad, who has held key positions in the Grand Old Party for over four decades, had said that unlike in the past, there was no room for criticism in Congress today. The Kashmiri leader was most visibly upset about Congress's failure to put up a significant resistance to Modi government's decision to scrap Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir. Congress's lukewarm response to Azad's honour is the latest in a troubled relationship between the party high command and one of the most trusted lieutenants for decades till he openly rebelled over the state of affairs in the Grand Old Party. 
with video journalist Ankit. This is Mosmi Singh in Delhi for India Today. Meanwhile, more controversy that has erupted over the Padma Awards announced by the centre. The Modi-led government named former West Bengal Chief Minister Buddhadev Bhattacharji for Padma Bhushan for his contribution to public affairs. However, Bhattacharji has declined to accept India's third highest civilian honour. In a statement, Buddha Deb said that he doesn't know anything about the award. No one told him anything. He further added, if Centre has decided to offer him the Padma Bhushan, he will refuse to accept it. Now, according to the CPIM, which tweeted later, it was a decision of both Buddha Deb Bhattacharji and the party. Government sources, meanwhile, say that uh, no information was given to the central government about the decline of the award. Government sources have called it political. Meanwhile, BJP National Vice President Dilip Ghosh uh, slammed the former Chief Minister. He said, Prime Minister Modi conferred the award because of his contribution without any ulterior motive. He further added that it is up to Budadev to accept the award or not. Think that Kalyan Singh has been given Padda Bhushan. Padda Bhushan, which is a hard uh, award to that of Padda Bhushan. Therefore, this is not a just thinking. This is a thinking that if you divide the people, if you destroy the Indian culture, then you are better than the person who fights for restoration of the Indian culture. In that light, the refusal is the only appropriate decision which could be taken by any sensible person. Today, आज नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने कांग्रेस लीडर्स को दे रहे हैं कम्युनिस्ट लीडर्स को दे रहे हैं दूसरे नेताओं को दे रहे हैं इस बड़प्पन को मानना चाहिए जिसको हजम नहीं होता है हम लोग पहले भी देखे हैं ये जो अवार्ड वापसी गैंग ये चला है ये राजनीति का चला है देश में इसलिए ये कोई नई बात नहीं है ऐसे लोगों को पुरस्कार दिया जा रहा है जो चुपचाप समाज का सेवा कर रहे थे कोई जानता नहीं था आज उनको सामने लाकर सम्मानित किया जा रहा है तो किसी को पसंद हो नहीं हो ये उनकी बात है Meanwhile, ugly scenes at uh, Guntur Jinnah Circle as right-wing group attempt to unfurl the Thiranga on Republic Day. Andhra police were involved in a scuffle with the Hindu Vahini members of uh, Guntur as the latter wanted to hoist the national flag at the Jinnah Tower located at the centre of the city. Remember earlier, the state BJP had demanded that the Jinnah Tower in Guntur be renamed after APJ Abdul Kalam. One of the Andhra BJP leaders also threatened the Jagan government to demolish the tower if it is not renamed. Meanwhile, the Punjab Haryana High Court has stayed Akali Dal leader Bikram Singh Majithia's arrest for three days. The order said the state has made out a case for the senior Akali leader's custodial inter interrogation but was being granted three days protection against arrest for enabling him to approach the Supreme Court for challenging the order, dismissing his plea. Meanwhile, politics uh, rife over the drug-related case against Majithia. Majithi attacked the Congress saying Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Channi is using different yardsticks for Congress and opposition leaders, adding that Sukhpal Khaira has also been summoned under the NTPS Act and no raids were conducted. And Siddhu Muzwala is facing case under Arms Act, but no action taken. Akali Dal Chief Sukhbir Singh Badal said he will quit politics if the Channi government brings any proof against his brother-in-law Bikram Singh Majithia, calling the case against Majithia false and politicized. Badal's warned that everyone responsible for implicating an innocent man in a false case will have consequences. I want to say that the Punjab government is Bikram Singh Majithia is making a drama case of the drama. They will have to eat their mouth because the case is a miracle. राजनीतिक बदला खो रही है और बिल्कुल राजनीतिक मंशा से की है और चट्टोपाध्याय इसीलिए रिवार्ड किया गया था दस दिन डीजीपी लगा के कि पंजाब को आग कैसे लगानी है अकाली दल का विरोध कैसे करना है इसमें उनको कुछ नहीं मिलेगा अब चन्नी अपनी चीखें मार रहे हैं ना जब उसके भांजे पर रेड हुई उसको बदलाखोरी बता रहा है और मजीठिया साहब के केस को हो कानून बता रहा है इनको कीमत अदा करनी पड़ेगी इस बात की हाई कोर्ट ने बिक्रम मजीठिया साहब की गिरफ्तारी से रोक लाते हुए और समा दिता कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट अगे जाके केस के मैरिट्स रख सकन हूँ मैं सवाल करना है पंजाब पुलिस तो और अफसर तो जिन्होंने बिना हाई कोर्ट के ऑर्डर की वेट किते ਇਹ ਸਿਆਸੀ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਆਕਾਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਰੇੜਾ ਕਰਨੀਆਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਹੁਣ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਓ ਤੇ ਦੱਸੋ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਲਈ ਕੌਣ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰ ਹੈ ਕਿਹਦੇ ਹੁਕਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਇਹ ਰੇੜਾ ਬਿਨਾ ਹਾਈ ਕੋਰਟ ਦਾ ਆਰਡਰ ਲਿਤੇ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਗਈਆਂ ਕੀ ਹੁਣੇ ਕੰਟੈਂਪਟ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਮ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਦੈਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਵੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਹੀ ਰਿਫਿਊਜ਼ ਟੂ ਹੀ ਫੇਲ ਟ
cooperate with the investigating agencies. And uh, this is not a joke. Once he gives an undertaking, he has to fulfill that. Otherwise, the High Court knows how to tighten the screws. Meanwhile, Congress has planned a mega show of strength in poll-bound Punjab tomorrow. Rahul Gandhi will visit Amritsar on Thursday. The Congress MP is all set to visit the Golden Temple, Durgyana Mandir and Bhagwan Valmiki Mandir with 117 candidates the party will field in the upcoming polls. Rahul will also visit Jalandhar during his day-long tour of Punjab. In Jalandhar, Rahul Gandhi will address a virtual rally called Punjab Fateh. It will be the first election rally by Rahul Gandhi in Punjab after the Election Commission announced the poll schedule earlier this month. Meanwhile, let's take you through what the Congress battle plan looks like. Project Rahul Gandhi as leader in charge, downplay the ongoing Channi Sindhu rift, Punjab only Congress state in the upcoming polls. Golden Temple visit to woo Sikh votes. Dalit outreach at the Valmiki Tirat Sthal. So all in all, uh, a lot rolled in in Rahul Gandhi's visit to Jalandhar. Trust India today to get you the latest. Welcome back. You're watching our Fact Check segment where we bust certain claims masquerading to be facts on social media platforms and WhatsApp. Truth is a claim now. Suggesting Aam Aadmi Party leaders don the skull cap during poll campaign. The fact on that, this image is from 2016 and is not linked to any election at all. Fake news. With that quick fact check, time for us to go into a quick break. You do stay with me. On the other side, it's to the point.